Hey, this is Rob Marvin with PC Magazine. I'm here in Times Square, and we're checking out the Coast P1 Autonomous Shuttle. This is a low-speed, self-driving shuttle that can be used to drive on pretty fine tracks and also to hail it with a smartphone app, like an Uber. We're gonna talk to uh, some of the guys behind this, and then we're gonna take a ride in the shuttle and see what happens. So this is a, a low-speed, uh, autonomous, self-driving shuttle. Uh, it's designed to operate in pedestrian areas or in, uh, in low-speed environments, so campuses, airports, theme parks, resorts, business parks, there's, there's many, many applications for this type of vehicle. There's really three sort of elements to the technology. You've got the mapping and the localization. So that's when you create a three-dimensional map of the environment that you're going to operate in. Uh, the localization is what allows the vehicle to know exactly where it is in that environment. And more importantly, to know when it doesn't know where it is, uh, because you have to know if you're lost. The next element is the uh, robotics and the artificial intelligence. So the robotics is, you know, for example, steering, braking, acceleration, and the uh, artificial intelligence is what allows the vehicle to make decisions. Uh, is this an obstacle? Am I going to go, go around it? Am I going to stop? And the third bit is the uh, fleet management and supervision. So fleet management is very important. If you're operating a fleet of vehicles, you want to make sure they're deployed in the right place uh, to pick up passengers where they're going to want to be picked up. And then the final bit is the supervision. So uh, our system will always have a human in the loop. Uh, so there's a human somewhere in the world that's monitoring everything that's going on for safety and security. I mean, look, this is the perfect environment for this type of vehicle. Right here, we're on a sort of dedicated lane in busy Times Square. In peak hours, you could see this vehicle being operated on a fixed route. And then in off-peak hours, when it's not so busy, you could see it operating as an on-demand, point-to-point service. All right, and now we are taking a ride on the Coast Autonomous Shuttle. As you can see, it's moving at a crisp 10-15, tops out at about 20 miles an hour. The uses for this that I think are pretty interesting are for sort of college campuses or theme parks, or sort of a hop-on, hop-off sort of deal. Um, less so for a big city like New York where you're going to try and cram hundreds of people onto this little tram that's, you know, fits about 8 to 12, but could probably fit up to 20 um, with standing room and seats. And so that's uh, the autonomous shuttle. <laughs>